from Tracy Morgan candidly admitting that he used it to lose some weight to Kim Kardashian potentially starting the whole trend, here are some of the biggest celebrities on Ozempic and how you can tell. Some celebrities have been pretty open about how the diabetes drug has helped them, including Tracy Morgan, who revealed in August 2023 that he'd used it. If you're a fan of comedy, you probably follow Tracy pretty closely because he's one of the funniest people in the world right now. Now, he's never exactly been fat, but he wasn't thin either, and fans noticed that he was looking pretty slim recently. Celebrities have all sorts of ways to trim off some extra kilos, ranging from personal trainers to dietitians and even surgery. But in August 2023, Tracy revealed the truth behind his weight loss. Apparently, the comedian takes a dose of Ozempic every Thursday. The drug works by suppressing your appetite, basically making him way less hungry than he usually is. He says he can survive on just one bag of Doritos a day after taking a dose, which isn't very healthy, but whatever works, I guess. In case you didn't know, Ozempic is a drug normally used to treat type 2 diabetes, but it also has a side effect, rapid weight loss. That's made it a popular shortcut for some of the most famous names in show business, and Tracy's definitely not the only celebrity to go on Ozempic. Sharon Osbourne said she lost too much weight because of it. The wife of British rock legend Ozzy Osbourne went on Piers Morgan's show in September 2023, and people were shocked at how thin she looked. Don't get me wrong, the years have been pretty kind to Sharon. She looked great even before the weight loss, especially for someone that's 70 years old. But the thing is, anyone can feel self-conscious about their weight and Sharon's no different. That said, when Sharon revealed her new look, she admitted she'd gone too far. The regular Ozempic injections she was getting helped her lose 30 pounds in just four months. But in her own words, it was time to stop. The medicine was making her feel nauseous, and she now weighs under 100 pounds, which is the thinnest she's ever been. She expects to put all the weight back on again, though. After all, there are no shortcuts in life. And sudden weight loss usually gets undone when things go back to normal. Sharon's not too bothered about it, because she wants more of a balance in her life. But I have to wonder, is her daughter, Kelly, on Ozempic too? This wouldn't be the first time Ozzy's daughter took drastic measures to slim down. I cannot even begin to imagine what it must have been like for her to work in the entertainment industry with all of its inflated standards, given her history of struggles with self-image. So in 2018, she decided to take matters into her own hands. She went under the surgeon's blade to get a gastric sleeve procedure done, which basically involves getting about 80% of your stomach removed, which resulted in her losing 85 pounds so far and she seems quite happy about it. But there are rumors going around that she might also be on Ozempic, and it all has to do with her new baby boy. You see, despite giving birth in November 2022, Kelly maintained an astonishingly slim physique. You might say that's all thanks to the gastric sleeve, but if her own mother was taking it, why wouldn't she? Ozempic is taking the entire industry by storm, and whenever a celebrity loses weight fast, people are quick to assume Ozempic is the culprit. For example, when Lady Gaga revealed her weight loss, fans started calling her Ozempic Gaga. In case you missed it, Mother Monster released a TikTok in October 2023 to promote some new items from her makeup collection, and fans were shocked by what they saw. I'll admit, Lady Gaga looks unrecognizable because of how thin she's gotten, so it's no surprise that people started wondering if she was on Ozempic too. Now Gaga has always looked stunning and that will not change regardless of her weight. Most of the fans were just joking around in the comments with the whole Ozempic Gaga bit and they were quick to clarify that she still looked gorgeous. But even so, this much quick weight loss can't be healthy. Typically, people aren't taking Ozempic for health reasons. Julia Fox might have been taking it while dating Kanye West. She's famous for more than just being his rebound from Kim, with a great acting performance in Uncut Gems, proving she's not just a pretty face. And honestly, she's spoken about how stressful the relationship was in the beginning. Her weight loss was noticeable from the get-go. But according to Julia, 
it was all because of the stress. I can't imagine dating Kanye would be easy, though the timing seems a bit too convenient. Plenty of fans still think she's on Ozempic, or at least took it when all of the cameras were pointed at her. But Julia's denied all the rumors. This might just be her trying to cover up her tracks. But sometimes, celebrities aren't trying to hide what Ozempic has done for them. I mean, Charles Barkley lost over 60 pounds thanks to Ozempic's competitor. Technically speaking, he took Mounjaro instead of Ozempic, but they're both pretty similar. Ozempic is semaglutide, and Mounjaro is the brand name for terzepatide, which works almost the same way. The round mound of rebound has always been on the heavier side, especially after retiring from professional basketball. At one point, he was touching 350 pounds, and his doctor apparently gave him an ultimatum telling him that there are no fat old people, only fat young people. That's a direct quote, by the way. And it gave Barkley the push he needed to change his life. In May 2023, he appeared on the pregame show for the Stanley Cup final, and everyone was amazed by how healthy he looked. It turns out, Munjaro helped him lose 62 pounds in total, bringing him down from 352 to 290. He's not done yet either, because Sir Charles wants to get to 270, and it's all so he can live as long as possible. If Munjaro helped, I'm happy for him, but it kind of seems like these diabetes drugs are everywhere, right? Like, who else has been using them to whittle their middles? Kelly Clarkson has lost heaps of weight after her divorce, and some are speculating she's on Ozempic. Her weight has fluctuated a lot over the years, but recently the 41-year-old American Idol winner started looking thinner than ever. This isn't the first time she's shocked her fans, of course. In 2018, she managed to lose 40 pounds without even working out, and this was years before Ozempic or Manjaro broke onto the scene. But even when she lost a solid 40, she still didn't look as slim as she does now. So it's no surprise that people are pointing the finger at Ozempic for her recent transformation. She's going through a pretty tough divorce from Brandon Blackstock. And when she posted the weight loss reveal on Instagram, pretty much all of her fans were extremely supportive. I'm right there with them. I just hope she's being healthy instead of just blindly losing weight. Then again, anybody who's on Ozempic is probably inspired by someone who only cares about their looks. I'm talking about Kim Kardashian, who might have started the whole trend. Now this is all just speculation. But remember when she got into Marilyn Monroe's iconic dress at the 2022 Met Gala? Kim's always looked great, no doubt thanks to the help of an army of cosmetic surgeons. But that doesn't mean she can fit into something worn by the iconic Hollywood star. When people saw Kim walking up those steps in Marilyn Monroe's dress, they couldn't help but wonder if she took something to fit into it. Look, whether or not she lost weight to wear the dress isn't up for debate. She's admitted to losing 16 pounds in two weeks, which is more than four times the maximum recommended weight loss rate. Kim claims she managed this with nothing but diet and exercise, but I'm not buying it. It's not possible to lose weight this fast without something helping you along. There's a chance it was just your average weight loss pill, the sort of thing people have been using for decades. But 16 pounds in two weeks practically screams Ozempic to me. So from Kim Kardashian kicking off this new weight loss fad to Tracy Morgan revealing how it helped him burn off the fat, these were some of the biggest celebrities on Ozempic.